Love Letter to Chiang Mai is a family-style dining experience featuring hard-to-find Thai cuisine. Chefs Fred, Fred Noina and Paulita Shriya. Sri Ratana, join us now with the details and a preview. Thank you guys both for being here. Oh my Thanks gosh. For having us. This Thank is exciting. So, so, most people think of Thai cuisine, and we talked about this earlier. You think Pad Thai. There is a yeah. lot more to Thai cuisine, and specifically Northern Thai cuisine. Can you tell us a little bit about Northern Thai cuisine? Yeah, so I think a lot of the Thai food you see in the States is like Central Thai food. Um, and I actually just came back from a trip from Northern Thailand, and there's a lot of like, I think. A lot of central Thai food, there's a lot of coconut and a lot of fish sauce, uh, which you still see in the northern food, uh, but like curries are a lot more like concentrated, there's less, um, or there's like more meat heavy, a little less like vegetables. Um, and or then spices. raw vegetables, yeah, raw vegetables on the side, or pickled vegetables or preserved vegetables on the Love side that. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the dish that we have here today, khao soy, is like kind of like quintessential like central Thai food. It's like the staple dish of Chiang Mai, I yeah. guess. Okay, and it's called yeah. Kai Soy? Kao Soy. Kao Soy, Kao soy. So, and what is that? So Kao Soy, today, um, I'm doing it with a chicken drumstick. It's kind of like, think of a light curry broth over egg noodles. It has a little bit of everything, a little bit of fermented vegetables, lots of garnish, a bit of chili oil, and then also my favorite, um, egg noodle crispies. Okay. So what I'm gonna get started here first is I already have the chicken seared and moving. Um, moving, what is moving? Mo moving as in like, you know, in the magic of television, oh, got we got to <laughs> do this in like, like five minutes. Still moving? <laughs> so I hope it's not. Um, so I have the chicken seared and a little bit of oil. And so I'm getting a really nice, good golden brown on each side. And I'm going to put in some curry paste. And the point of pu putting in curry paste into the oil is kind of like, imagine like toasting spices. Mm -hmm. So I want this to cook through and kind of break up. Mm -hmm. And this is red curry paste, right? Does it ha is this dish specifically with red curry? So I'm actually making a simplified version. Okay. Um, for our pop-up on the 22nd at Thatu, um, they're going on a little bit of a vacation. I'm actually doing my version of this, which is has been one of my favorite dishes and most fun dishes to make. Um, but this one is a simplified version for our guests. Okay, great. Uh, and so for this one, I'm using Masaman curry paste. Okay. You'll see this on the recipe online. Mm -hmm. And so back to the dish, I am going to just kind of like toast and fry up this curry paste so it breaks up and really brings out, um, brings the flavors alive. And then I wanna make sure that the chicken gets coated in this. So you kind of just really wanna sear all the juices in. And then, oh, wow, I'm starting to smell the flavors yeah. come through. Yeah. So the beauty of muscle and curry paste, it's, it's an easy cheat to make this really quickly if you don't want to make your curry paste at home. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk and bring it to a low simmer, simmer for about 40 minutes. So mm. in the meantime, I'm going to pass this off to Fred. Yeah, so, uh, um, so the base of this curry dish is the, is the curry itself, but um, it's always eaten with noodles. Yeah. So here we have some egg noodles. These are specifically like flat wonton noodles. Mm -hmm. And I've got some water boiling here to cook them. Super quick, it takes like a minute, maybe a minute and a half. I'm gonna salt the really? water. But these um, are fried, so you're gonna do actual boiled noodles and fried noodles? Yeah, so it's all kind of like, cause all the chicken is getting cooked um, until it's super tender and fall apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's like the soft noodles that are a little bit chewy. And then you have like the raw vegetables that give it a little bit of crunch, and then the fried noodles give it like that harder crunch. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. get like all that textural variance there. That's great. Yeah. So. All right. Easy. As you're getting those on, let's talk a little bit about the event you guys have coming yeah. up because basically there's three different things to talk about. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the plated dinners, which are coming up first, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing these seated family style dinners. Um, it's just like a huge feast of all the things of Northern Thai food that we really love. Fred and I have came together to kind of curate this menu. However, by the time we came on on live, um, we only have five tickets left. On wow. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to direct you to our pop-up that is walk-in in the mm -hmm. same space, and it'll be offered a la carte. And there's lots of options, like vegan, vegetarian, and the highlights of the menu. Yeah, so there's uh, Gang Hung Lei, which is one of my favorite Northern Thai dishes. It's a pork belly curry with mm. uh, a lot of turmeric and ginger. There's pickled garlic in it and a lot of... Um, there's a little bit of dill on top, which you don't normally see in like central Thai cuisine, but it's used up north a lot more. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and that's the pop up, and that's on the 22nd? On the 22nd. Okay. On 22nd, Monday. Yeah. And you'll so, find uh, Khao Soy as well. If our lucky yeah. followers, there's five tickets left on Friday. So, okay. <laughs> so this is going to be a very. And so we call it a love letter to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is the northern part of Thailand? Correct. Yeah. So Chiang Mai is um, 
the biggest city in Northern Thailand. It's also a province, um, and it's the capital of Northern Thailand. Okay. So it's like many things all in one, um, and it borders all these other uh, provinces in Northern Thailand that have a lot of cool ind indigenous tribes, and they influence a lot of the food. So like all these cool different curry pastes, fermentation, these different flavors that you don't normally see in Central mm -hmm. Thailand. That's mm -hmm. pretty homogenous now. Mm -hmm. um, you see a, a lot more of that happening in Northern Thailand. So oh, it's, that's yeah. so cool. Really cool. So yeah. awesome. Well, we can't miss this out in front of us here. We got a cocktail that this is going to be part of the dinner. Oh, yeah. yeah. So our wonderful sponsors, Apolog, is helping us bring this to life. What? You, at the end of the day, Fred and I are Thai American. We are born and raised in the Midwest. I'm from Central Illinois. Fred is born and raised in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And so to partner with the spirit is just, first of all, so delicious. They have spirits focused on things like pawpaw. And so they'll be working with us to curate a cocktail menu. So okay. we would so love to invite you to try. This is our golden bourbon. Ooh. Ooh. It is a mix of delicious bourbons from Kentucky. And then we also have apple log spirit in front of Ooh. us, Ooh. which they have Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Really yeah. fun ingredients. Really and, like. And they have ways that you can serve this, like yeah. with so rocks, this soda, over spritz. Rocks um, with a little bit of soda water, and it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's just really awesome. delicious. Yeah. Yeah. delicious. Yeah. Yeah. delicious. Yeah. 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 A little bit of champagne, too. The Avalog stuff is really good. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah. Summer, yeah. Ooh. It's delicious. Okay, this is fun. Yeah. And your noodles are already done. Like, that noodles was are done, yeah. Noodles are done. Wow, that looks fantastic, you guys. Thank you both for, well, unless you finish plating that up, I'll get all the information. So the 19th and 20th, as I mentioned, only five tickets left, so you better act quickly. Mm -hmm. It's at that too on West Fletcher. But again, the pop-up will be on the 22nd, so you can check a la carte dishes when you go to the pop-up. Uh, you can see the social media handles there and the website as well. Thank you both for being here. Yeah, thanks all for having right. us. Ooh, Thank you so that much. That so good. Yes, it does. Ooh.